Hi there, Cancer. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your monthly July 2017 tarot reading. This is meant to be a general reading. Whatever comes up will come up. If it doesn't resonate with you, then you need to check your moon sign or your rising sign, or both. And I want to thank all the subscribers, watchers, commenters, and bookings. Um, I really appreciate that. I've been extremely busy. Thank you for your patience. I truly, truly appreciate that. I just want to give you a warning. If you're new to my channel, when I get doing these cards, I can't speak as clearly. Um, it's like the energies, they come so quick. I don't know what happens, but I can't spread the words out correctly. And um, that seems to be the case. There's one for you. This is for cancer. Time to make a decision. That's right for you. Putting yourself first. That's what that's about. It's time to make a deci decision. About following your justice. It's about doing the right thing. Time to finalize. The hell? I heard that damn little thing go. If you hear me start swearing, it's because I don't care for bugs. He's See, so yeah, I almost said the F word. That was quick. I, can, I controlled myself. But I'm back. Whew. <laughs> okay. So it's about making a final decision. And um, you can't pretend anymore. No more pretending. Something needs to be finalized. And it's time. It's, you know, it's time to make it real. There it is. There's your awakening. It is. An awakening, an epiphany. Act, act. Time to take action. All right. Perhaps there's a new partner on your horizon. Could be a new sexual partner even. This is for Cancer, month of July 2017. Could be somebody who is very unique, kind, um, knows how to get the job done, um, has a lot of confidence, speaks her truth. Her his or her truth. Let me correct myself. Anyway, there's a new discovery on the horizon, okay? There's a new discovery or a new partner, all right? And when, when you finally decide to make whatever decision it is, and this is at the beginning of July, Okay, you have to make a decision. You have to make something final, okay? And this is saying that you need to act. You, this, this guy acts. He, make, he moves. He's about action, okay? And here is about, uh, this is faking it. It's about pretending, you know, escapism or whatever. But in this case, it's about pretending, you know? You can't pretend anymore. It's time to make it final. You gotta keep. You gotta end it, okay? And you do that when you finally have a wake up call. Finally, something pops in and makes you decide to to finalize it. I mean, this is the first week of June, and you decide to act. You decide to act, and perhaps you're when when you do decide to act, you know you you engage a new partner. You start looking for a new partner. Somebody who is, is who you somebody who is unique and confident. Okay. Right. 
for some reason you're scared to act. You're scared to finalize. Are you worried about money or something? But it's time to start a new chapter. Probably with this person. Okay, and once you act, it's going to hap happen quick. Once you act. Once you finally decide to stop waiting. When you finally decide to, to take action towards your epiphany. You know, when you take that action, everything moves very quickly. <clears throat> and you start a new chapter, okay? You start a new life path, probably with this person. Male or female. This happens to be a fire sign, but it can be anybody who acts like this woman, okay? I see that you definitely... Um, You've been, I think that you've been praying for this. You've been praying for this to be final. You've been praying for this to be over with. You know, and the time has finally come. This is about balance and harmony. The time has finally come for it to be over with. Really, really over with. Final. All right. I'm moving on. It's final. This is the second week. The first week, you know, you're, you're moving on. The second week, you are, um, you're, it's almost like your prayers have been answered, okay? And now, things are starting to balance out. You're starting to feel better. It's like, oh, finally, maybe a little bit of relief. Um, and then here, you've decided to take some action to, to turn it around, to make the wheel spin. You've decided to take some action in your favor. And it could involve a new partner. And the home life is going to be very abundant with this person. It is. There's not going to be any worries at all. It's going to be, you know, a very happy home life. And the reason there's there's the there's the Taurus, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So that's who I think it's with. I kept on thinking it's with an Earth sign. It's with an Earth sign, and but when she came out, so it could be an Earth sign or a Fire sign. Um, this is a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. This can represent any woman in the uh, zodiac. This is a motherly person, somebody who is very motherly, very fertile, okay? The same, this, these people are the same, and that's who, what you've been waiting for, I think. You've, you know, this person is a beautiful soul. And I think you're going to take action towards this person. I guess this is if you're single. If not, you, you could even be in a relationship, and you could... You could um, be getting pregnant, you know, or somebody could be could be having a baby. Perhaps, I don't know. Perhaps there's been a baby in the past. This is for cancer. It looks like things happen pretty quickly once you take action. And your home life becomes very abundant, happy with everything. Okay, and your new cycle, your new cycle turns, you know, it's a new life lesson, a new life journey by the end of the month. And each week plays a part. Each week plays a part. Okay, by the end of the first week, perhaps you're just thinking about this person and... and that's what it is, okay? You're deciding to act, okay? By the second week, and it could be somebody you're already with. By the end of the second week, you know, you feel like you're 
beginning of the week, you feel like your prayers have been answered or heard or something, or you're listening, okay? You're listening to what you're hearing. You're contemplating. And things start to balance out, and they start to feel good. You know, things are equal, equaling out. There's not a lot of uh, imbalance, okay, towards the second week. Um, you're deciding to step down and to take action, okay? And it, once you do, it, ha it moves pretty quickly. You start to spin the wheel on your own. By the third week, there's a lot of hope, okay, and wishes. Do you see that? That damn thing is moving on its own. <clears throat> Anyhow, um, there's uh, you're following your hopes and your wishes right here. By the third week, it's like you're feeling like, oh my God, perhaps you've made this contact and it feels like your wishes have been fulfilled. Your prayers have been answered after some heartbreak. You know, there's been some regret. I think there's been some regret or some rejection. Okay. Perhaps from an Aquarius or a Virgo person. Maybe they re rejected you. You know. And they caused you to go into this time of introspection. And that's why you've been hanging around, waiting, not knowing what to do, not acting. But you're finally going to decide to act. And you're going to move past this rejection or heartache or sadness that you've been in and it's going to turn to to hope and your wishes being fulfilled because here you go from go being within to feeling confident and look at you look at you're looking at these two okay Taurus Capricorn or Virgo that's real. I usually consider this an Aries or a Taurus or a Virgo mother. It can be anyone, anyone, okay. But the there, she's the Earth mother, and she's the mother. This woman is very fertile. She is very motherly. She's caring. She's beautiful. She's um, spiritual, okay. Her soul is beautiful, and that's who you're looking at, all right. And it's, it's part of your, look at these beautiful cards. Okay. Over here, it's not as beautiful. But in the future, it looks very good with this earth sign or fire sign person. Somebody who is very motherly and um, has something to do with children. Okay. Um, so anyway, once you take action, you know, it's going to move very, very quickly. And it's very beautiful. Actually, we're going to go get some clarifiers from here. This is for cancer. This is a, this is a monthly reading. Is this, a, this looks like a love reading to me. This is part of your wake-up call, okay? It's connected to this rejection right here. So it's the Five of Wands, competing goals, bothersome details, conflicts with others, perhaps whoever this person is that, you know, you've had this rejection from, this person or this person. It's because there was competition and there was, there was, there was conflicts. And it was just too much. It was like a whole lot of drama maybe there was some pretending right the whole time you know there was some pretending going on where's the love in that relationship I don't see any love over in that section where is it and there's a wake up call But on this side, in the future, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, it's a renewal, okay? Perhaps you're going to get back with somebody you um, have loved before, 
a new home and it's perfect in this spot it's in the future it could be with somebody you're with already it could be and your le and your relationship goes to this level falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship spiritual growth and enhanced intuition a new home it's about it's a dreamy kind of love probably you know with somebody you loved before or the resurgence of a relationship it's probably with somebody you have loved before probably a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo or a fire sign but I think it's a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo I do look at the happy home life and the security there's all kinds of security here <sighs> this is the truth it's true life experience this, this is going to go right here with this life experience something big is about to happen for you cancer perhaps you're going to um, fall in love again a significant life event a powerful revelation that leads to change time to spread your wings it is it's time act act it's up to you to act do it you take that first step and see what happens could lead to it could lead to true love it could lead to sex for sure and then we have these two aces it's instant manifestation with these ones um, it's a new sexual partner and a new love partner okay seven of wands and three of wands defend your beliefs that's over here it's when you're starting when you you know you're making it final Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your bat. See, this guy's hanging. He's gonna. He, you're about to stand up, and follow and follow your truth. That's what's happening here. Three of Wands. Abundance. <laughs> Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. This person is dependable, loyal, practical, um, motherly. She's all that. And she's stubborn. She's stubborn too. And she is um, sharp. <laughs> Since this is a love reading, let's get a couple of these. It wasn't meant to be a love reading, but it turned out to be. So lucky you, Cancer. You're the first one yet to turn into a genuine love reading for the month. Looks like you make that action in the first week of July. You decide to make some kind of gesture or contact that first week of July. And after that, it just <laughs> explodes, put it that way. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Let yourself heal. Have a lot of hope. Make the final decision. Don't, I mean, if you want to keep it going, that's staying in control. If you let it go completely, you're surrendering. Surrender. Surrender the past. It's over. That's your wake up call. <laughs> This one goes with this one. I told you this was a resurgence of a relationship. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. That's the damn truth, isn't it, Cancer? <laughs> Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Oh, yes, there is. Yep, big time. Mm-hmm. It's not about looks. It's not what you look like. It's not what they look like. It's a soul connection. It has nothing to do with looks. 
It has to do with feelings. Romantic feelings and the chemistry, a magnetic pull. I think there's somebody from your past. Let's see if that comes up. I think it is. Could be a soulmate or a twin flame. I think it is. I don't know why. Attraction. You attract romant you attract a romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. It's true. <laughs> like I said, it's going to explode. Because it's it's all about the inside for both of you, and that's the maximum attraction. Oh. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. It's true. You've been waiting for this. You have. You've been waiting for this. And let me tell you, it is worth the wait. That's not a good one. What does that mean? <laughs> Perhaps you don't want to jump too quick, like I said. Perhaps you need to, once this all happens, it's going to feel so good that you're going to need to have, um, what's the word? Boundaries, per se, you know? Don't be too clingy. Don't be too uh, codependent. Don't worry about it. That's a red flag. Don't worry about it. Pay attention to your red flags, not theirs. This is about you. This is your reading. I know you were thinking about the other person immediately. What are your red flags? What kind of messages do you send? That's what this card is about. Make sure you are sending the right messages. We're going to get one. Oh! Well, that's on the bottom. I knew it. It's true. I already felt it. I already know it. This is what's happening. If you start to feel down with this pay attention to the red flags... That's a red flag. Bring yourself back up quick. Okay, if you start to reminisce about the past and the hurt that you've been through or the rejection that you've gone through, that's a red flag. Let that shit go. Let it go. So that in, let it go because it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That makes sense. You have to be in the now. Don't live in the past. Do not live in the past. We're going to get back to this reconciliation card. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It's true. It's this new love right here. <laughs> it's true. Here's another true one. It's true. It's true. It's true, Cancer. It's true.
the situation is calling for you to have faith and trust. Act, act. Make a final cut, make a final decision on something and take action. All right, you can't pretend. You know, it's time to time to heal, time to move forward. Let go of the past. New love is is coming as soon as you act. Dreamy love. The stuff you dream about. With somebody that you've probably known before. And, and it was, and it's, it is, it's, it's true love. So it is worth waiting for. You waited all this time for this person. This is what this says. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Divine timing for the both of you. Not just you, for the both of you. It happens at this time for a reason. The chemistry is out of this world. It's time to spin the wheel and it's time to start a new chapter of your life, a long chapter where there's a lot of abundance. Okay? So, Cancer, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I look forward to hearing from you soon.